Hi, I'm Omar, and welcome to Geek Rant. Movie posters. They're like the Tinder profiles for the cinema world. Since it's the new year, let's look at some of the best posters of last year. And keep in mind, I am saying best, not worst. Because a movie poster's job is to make you think about the movie. Whether it's good or bad, it's doing its job if you're talking about it, which we are. All right, let's get started because there are some bad ones. Let's start off with one of the most infamous films of 2015, Fifty Shades of Grey. I myself did not see the movie once. I didn't see it once. This poster got to me though. Mr. Grey will see you now. No, he won't. He's got his back turned. Face me like a man, Mr. Grey. People like this Mr. Grey. I like Project Almanac's tagline. Today is better the second time around. That's really where you get to see the amazing writing of today. Like the setups are so subtle. And the third time when you're watching today, you start to see how Buster's hand is like an ongoing joke. Now Run All Night looked awesome. I never saw the film personally, but according to the poster, it's about Liam Neeson going back to the 1950s stopping his parents from meeting and then slowly fading away. Man, the Johnny B. Good sequence in Run All Night is so good. I can't get over the poster for Age of Adeline. The world has changed in the last century, but she hasn't. Look at her, of course she hasn't. She has no intention of changing. Hey Adeline, we just made something called the internet. I don't really care. Speaking of another age, Age of Ultron. You know my biggest problem with this poster? It's that I don't get to live in it. This is so awesome, so amazing. I want it to be a bed sheet that turns into water that I put in the bathtub and I just sit in it and I just get to live it every second of my life. Every second. Paul Blart Mall Cop 2. In case you didn't know, this movie takes place in Vegas, which informs the tagline, always bet on Blart. Don't tell everyone to bet on Blart, because then everyone will bet on Blart and suddenly we have an inflation on the bets on Blart. This will crash the entire Paul Blart economy. Horror movies. I really like horror movie posters because they either go one way or the other. For example, Insidious 3 has an amazing poster. That's a freaky image, man. And if you don't think so, if you want to be snarky, let's just pop into the back there. That's scary! On the other side, the tagline for the Vatican tapes was, For 2,000 years, the Vatican has recorded evidence of evil. May God have mercy on our souls. I feel like those two aren't even connected at all. <laughs> I just got back from a run. And... May God have mercy on us all. Human Centipede 3's tagline was, 100% politically incorrect. I didn't realize the uh, Human Centipede was Donald Trump. <laughs> I know that was an obvious joke. Uh, and I probably shouldn't have gone for it. It was cheap. And I feel cheap for it. Paranormal Activity's tagline was, For the first time, you will see the activity. For the first time? What the f*** have I been watching for the last 20 films? Now on to something scarier. Pixels. I have a huge problem with this poster, because I'm from the Bay Area and it's never that clear. On a normal day in San Francisco, we can't see Pac-Man through all the fog. Ah, oh, this one's been driving me crazy. The poster for Selfless. God created man. Man created immortality. I... I don't agree with that last one. If you're conceding that God created man, I'm gonna have to give immortality back up to God. You can't take credit for that. God made man. Man made pawn. No! No, don't take credit for something you didn't do. Now I love, love, love this poster for Tomorrowland. Oh wait, that's a poster for Terminator? I'm sorry, they look so similar. Entourage came out. Yeah, you forgot that, didn't you? The Entourage movie came out, and there's nothing wrong with the posters, necessarily, because they actually really examine the core ideas of the, the TV show being translated into a film. Except that a few months later, the Peanuts posters came out. Look at them. They're the same posters. It's Charlie Brown making it in Hollywood. He dates Mandy Moore. Bob Saget's in an episode. I watched, I watched three episodes of Entourage. Aloha's tagline is, Sometimes you have to say goodbye before you can say hello. <laughs> I don't know if they're quoting something, and I can't even get mad because technically it's not untrue. I just love the ambiguity of it. Sometimes. Is this one of those times? Also, this poster looks like an advertisement for the Dharma Initiative. I have to say, the deepest tagline of the year has to go to San Andreas. Where will you be? Who will you be with? I don't I don't know. I don't think anyone loves me. This tagline actually reads like a PSA for, for, for earthquake safety. They should just change it to pack a box of water bottles and graham crackers. But the best poster of the year has to go to Sean the Sheet. Catch them if you can. Amazing. So good. That is the wasteland of our generation. All right, that's it. What were your favorite movies of 2015? I would love to know. Please leave those in the comments below. You can also check us out on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Please like this video if you did in fact like it. And if you wanna see more, feel free to subscribe. We make it even easier for you. All right, we will see you next Friday with a brand new video. I know, very exciting. But before then, I wanna feature some of your answers for your favorite movie posters.